are now going to go to Disneyland Vice President and General Manager of Disney Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a big UL welcome to Trish Long. What is Trish Long? As the last speaker who stands between you and your lunch, I have some very good news and some very bad news. The very bad news is that I have a video. It lasts 90 minutes. The very good news is it's called Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and it takes place at 2 o'clock. Anyway, my name is Trish Long and my mother was a cleaner. My name is Trish Long. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of the Walt Disney Studios in Ireland. I run a team here. I'm part of the Disney European and international teams. I have a role to grow our brands and our businesses in Ireland. I sit on three boards, including the governing authority of the University of Limerick. My name is Trish Long, my mother was a cleaner. I know whose life and whose work is harder, and it's so not mine. Given my role as Vice President and General Manager of the Walt Disney Company in Ireland, some of you may be wondering, does that mean whether or not Mickey Mouse is my boss? And the answer is yes. Mickey Mouse pays my wages, as do Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilms, all companies that you may or may not know are owned by Disney. Some of you may also be wondering about the image behind me. I deliberately chose this image, as I think it really helps illustrate the notions and reality of work today. That, believe it or not, is an image of me at work. The Irish premiere of Inside Out. And the two men are Pete Docter and Jonas Rivera. They are the Oscar-winning director and producer. Over the years, they've also become friends. My work is not always as glamorous and enjoyable as those moments, but this is the kind of place that my work has led me to. In the last 20 years, I've been asked many times by various of my 16 nephews and nieces, how did you get that cool job? And after much consideration and analysis, the most honest and truthful answer I can give is I have absolutely no idea. Because as I said, I may be vice president and general manager of the Walt Disney Company, but in my heart and soul, I'm really Trish Long from St. Mary's Park. The first is what I do, and the second is who I am. And for this young one from St. Mary's Park, there was no plan and university d definitely did not figure in my family's thinking. When I was growing up, I didn't know jobs such as mine existed, and neither did our career advisors. What I knew about film was what I saw in movies and TV, and if I'd had the guts to dream about any of that, like many, I'd likely have dreamt of being an actor. I and my family didn't have the education or the knowledge to know anything about the industry I presently work for, just as I imagine may be the case for some of you. And indeed, in your cases, it's very possible that your future career, areas of work and roles have yet to be invented. So I guess we are waiting for you, the innovators and the entrepreneurs, to create them. But even if I had been aware of the business side of movies and entertainment, I would never in my wildest dreams have dreamt it was something that I could do. Because how could a young one from St. Mary's Park do that? Or at least that's what the voice inside my head might have asked. I was the eldest of four, I went to St. Mary's School, and I was lucky enough to have a few really great teachers, as I think you do here in this hall, who just wanted to feed my curious brain. They didn't care where I came from or what my address was. They just loved that I was an obsessive reader and usually encouraged me to read. When I was 14 and coming up to junior cert, my father told me he couldn't afford to buy my school books that year and it was time for me to leave and to start working and help the family. So I did, got a part-time job, did a deal with him that if I earned enough to buy my school books for the next two years, I could stay at school and the rest of the money I would give to my mother. When I was 16, the year I did my leave insert, he was made redundant from Ranks Flower Mill and the redundancy package was counted as part of the family's income for that year. So we failed the means test and I couldn't go to college directly from school. My dad wasn't too upset about that because his greatest dream for me was that he would like me to be a secretary and I understood why. When he was working on freezing cold November days like this, in the grain boats in ranks, he would look up and he would see inside those offices, women warm and cozy, and he thought, that'd be a great job for our Trish. And it would have been. But I wasn't drawn to being a secretary. I knew it just wasn't for me. And here is where I will let you into my little secret. Something that has stood me in great stead throughout my life. I may not, like many of you, have known what I wanted exactly in my life and career at the time. And 
may have been probably too scared to name it if I did, but I damn well knew what I didn't want. So to all of you who might not yet know exactly what you want, I say don't underestimate the power of knowing what you don't want to work at or don't want in your life. In a world in which you may feel swamped by many choices, knowing what you don't want can bring great clarity and be a great driving force. However, in that case, it's also vital that you learn as much as you can, because once you figure out what you do want to do, you'll need to be able to make the most of any chance or opportunity that comes your way. I did all my college courses part-time while working full-time, and you may wonder what did I do before I worked at Disney. I'm often asked about my career path, but in my case at least, I wonder if such a thing exists. The types of jobs or areas I've worked in include charities, bookstores, pirate radio stations, women's co-ops, a rape crisis center, family planning clinic, arts organizations, theater companies, festivals, broadcasting, film, international publicity, marketing, corporate communications, and the entertainment industry. I have worked for some money, low money, no money. I've been an employee, an employer, a worker, a boss, a team member, a leader, a volunteer, a mentor. But during many of those jobs, right up to my first years in Disney in my early 30s, I continued studying. My only true regret in life is that I didn't get to go to college full time. And if you can, please do. There are a lot more benefits from college life than the qualifications or degree, important those those are. So while I didn't know what type of career I wanted, I did know that I wanted to have a job that challenged and stimulated me. And I needed to know that how I did my job made a difference. I wholeheartedly believe that education is simply the greatest tool to help you create the life that you want to live and become the person you want to be. It allows you to take the leap when you get a lucky break. It can help make sure that you overcome your fears and that that voice inside your head that says, I can't do this, or I don't know anyone who did this, and to be able to say, someone has to do this job, and why shouldn't it be me? I won't lie, it will be scary sometimes. Frankly, it still is, like right now. Whenever I do something new, which I do a lot, I've worked all over the world involving film tours with celebrated actors and directors at the most famous film festivals. I still think, and that voice in my head still sometimes says, I'm just a young one from the island field, and also, this is the one that they'll find me out on. Those fears don't disappear, but they do have less power. And having an education made me slightly less afraid, and it gave me more options and choices. So to finish, what can I tell you after the great presentations you've had already today? Just these three things. If you don't know exactly what you want yet, there's no shame in that. Embrace knowing what you don't want. It can give you great clarity and power. Study hard, but be sure to enjoy your student lives. Enjoy it for me. Figure out what you enjoy doing, something that makes a difference in the world, and then find an organization that will pay you to do it. It's not easy to find, but believe me, it's worth it, and it can transform your life and the lives of others. Focus on increasing your creativity and problem-solving skills with education. That will give you the confidence, the knowledge, the options, and the choices, so that when opportunity and luck comes your way, you can take a deep breath and take that leap. Most of all, I want to wish you amazing life and career adventures. Stay curious, be fearless, and trust yourself. With lifelong learning and education as part of your toolbox, I truly believe, to quote one of my favorite Pixar characters, Buzz Lightyear, that you have all the potential to go to infinity and beyond. Now go eat. <laughs>